Hey, how's it going everyone? How you guys doing tonight, today, wherever you're from in this beautiful world? All right, so I got another beer for you. This is a trio collaboration with three breweries from mainly uh, Rubens Brew, I think is the main one here, but the other two from Fort George Brewery out of Astoria, Oregon, and uh, Great Notion Brewery over in uh, Portland, Oregon. Two very great breweries. And Ruben, Rubens is also very nice. They've been putting out some really good uh, beers. This is, an, uh, this is a just a... Uh, it's an IPA. I, I don't know if it's a hazy. I don't know if it's a Westy, West Coast, um, but definitely an American IPA. Dream Team is what they call it. It's the uh, the three partners reunite stronger than ever before. Rubens Brew's tenth anniversary, and that's what it looks like. <laughs> so that would be uh, yeah, that would be um, um, great notion. With the lo logger lumberjack guy, <laughs> Rubens in between, and then Fort George on with the space hat. <laughs> cool can, about a month old or so, month and a half old in the can. Um, got this over at um, uh, over at Bridge and Tunnel in Astoria. Thanks, uh, thanks, Wayne. All right, three one is when it was canned. Yeah, it's definitely a hazy. It smells very very. Uh, citrusy, fruity, fruit bomb, juice bomb. Definitely like a potato yellow, a potato pale yellow like uh, color. Um, straw, straw colored beer. Uh, finger, almost a finger head there in a the pour. Let's get into the nose. We'll get back to the look after. Okay. <laughs> oh, your are Uh Big, strong hint of like grapefruit, lemon, a slight, uh, like a grapefruit pith smell, like, like that soft undertone smell. Grapefruit, lemon, um, I want to say it's like a lemongrass or something, kind of herbaceous smelling, sort of, in a way, not really, I might be going too far there with the herbaceous. Nice though, it smells really uh, like just very, um, cit very citrusy, very citrusy. Mm. I don't know what hops went into this or anything, so I didn't do my research. Sorry, I think I got a dirty glass. All right, so looking at it again, hazy beer, can't see through it, straw colored, um, unfiltered, beautiful looking beer. Um, that kind of has that uh, 7.2 percent. I didn't know if I mentioned that. Nice white head. Looks like almost like a lemon drop or like a um, lemon meringue pie or something like that or I don't know just the whole the yellow you know when you cut open the lemon uh, the meringue pie uh, you got the white meringue on the top and the yellow lemon um, uh, jelly shit in the center uh, yeah it just kind of looks has that appearance to me uh, very nice cloudy milky god I think there's a little like spritz of orange in there too I'm getting orange all right, let's drink this. Cheers. A lot like the nose. There is a, actually a slight, like herbal, herbaceous kind of um, lemongrass thing. I'm also getting like Cheerio grain, Cheerios, like the, kind of a wheat. I think this might have a flaked wheat in it or something. Um, no, no, kitty. Or I'll square her. <laughs> Just scratching my boxes over there. Um, <laughs> I squirt her when she's bad. I don't like to yell at the cats or the dogs. I just don't want to squirt them. <laughs> That's better treatment for them. Um, yeah, a lot of ums coming out of this. Lemon, lemongrass, herbaceous kind of feel. Um, kind of a dried, lighter body like a dry feeling in the mouth feel dry and kind of loose um it's not really putting the flavors in my in the, it, the the flavors aren't as strong as i would have liked them in this it's a little too light and dry and fluffy and i'm not getting the the flavors out it, it, the dryness takes the flavors away fairly quick so It does have a zesty zing to it. 
It's very drinkable. It tastes like a 6% or something like that. Like, it's not as strong. There's barely any uh, alcohol or anything like that. It's not quite an Imperial yet, but it's definitely 7.2. I've gotten beers that had a little more flavor than this. Um, can, again, it's a collaboration beer, but I don't want to knock three of the best uh, breweries around. So I'm not getting why collaboration beers just don't seem as great. I don't know what it is. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's the person who's in charge. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad. It's just, it's very, the, the flavor is not there because it dries out so quick. Yeah, dry finish. Carbonation's a, like a medium. I just wish, like the lemon and the grapefruit are there. There might be a slight pine in the finish. It's just not sticking in my mouth. It's just running right through and not allowing me to really taste it. I get a lot of the grain, though. I get that uh, wheat grain. Yeah. So out of 10 hops, uh, I'd probably give this like a... I'd give it like an 8.5 out of 10 hops. It's still in the B range. It just needs to be a little more sweeter, I think. A little less dry. A little more approachable in that sense. And I think it would be a lot better. So, right on, guys. You guys have a good night, day, wherever you're from in this beautiful world. Uh, I'm out of here. Cheers.